So today we're going to talk about how to connect your WSI box and your wind transducer together. Now, in reality, there's actually very few times you actually need to do this procedure because if you buy a pack with a wind transducer and a WSI box together, we've already paired them together at the factory. However, if you buy a wind transducer separately to complete your system, then you will need to do this procedure. It's also a good idea to do this procedure if you have any problems with it uh, in terms of the connection. That way you can actually be assured that they haven't just paired themselves off for any reason. There's actually four stages that we need to do. Uh, we need to decouple the wind transducer, we need to decouple the WSI box, and then we need to couple the wind transducer and the WSI box again together. So we're going to start with the wind transducer and we need to uh, release the pairing from the wind transducer. So all we need to do, we need to go into the battery box here. You simply take it off uh, using a Phillips screwdriver and you need to press the button here and we hold that in for about five or six seconds until the light goes off. The second procedure is to decouple the WSI box here and we do this using the C data instrument and to do that we go to C15 so we hold in set and then using plus go to C15 and more than likely it's going to say 00 0.4 and what we need to do is change this to 99.9 .9. and we do this by pressing set and you'll see the hyphen brings here and we move that along to the zero of the page and we change the numbers to 99.9 .9 with plus and minus, moving along with page. And once we've got to 99.9, .9, we confirm that selection with set. So that's the C date, uh, sorry, the WSI box and the wind transducer both coupled off from each other. Now we need to start the pairing procedure. So again, we go into C15, press set, move on to zero, and we're alternating at this time to 0, 0, 0.4 and we confirm our selection with set and then to come out of here we press page and then set to come back to where we were from the beginning next we go to our wind transducer and to couple that with the available WSI box we simply press the button here one short burst and it should give us two flashes if everything's okay And as you see, the light flashed twice there, so everything should be okay. But if we come back to the WSI, uh, the C data instrument here, give it a quick turn, you'll see that we've got wind reading straight away.